Previously on Tech Tuesday, we've looked at the Spotlight and how you can use this wonderful feature to find our files in your computer quickly and easily. In this installment, we're going to have a look at another feature of Mac computers that is often underutilized by both experienced and um, new users of Mac, the Preview. The Preview is a wonderful tool if you want to annotate an image or hide some sensitive information in it, if you want to remove a the background, or if you're filling out the form and you need to put an electronic signature. So all those things can be made possible with just one app, the Preview. On my computer, I have a couple of files that I want to annotate uh, before I send them to uh, another person. For example, uh, this is the screenshot of our KS homepage, and I want to highlight where the, the Tech Tuesdays can be found. To do that, I can go to the markup tool right here and grab one of the annotations tool. Let's start with the draw. The draw allows me to draw arrows to specific elements in my picture. I can change the color of the stroke by going here. Another cool feature of Preview is the sketch. The sketch also allows me to draw on my image, but it will change my hand-drawn arrow to a nice-looking arrow. I can go to some of the settings here and change the other stylistic elements. I can bend the arrow if I want to. If I want to draw a shape, I can go to the shape selector, select the shape I want, drag it to where I want it to be, and again, change the color, change the fill if I want to. Another two cool features uh, when it comes to annotating and highlighting some of the elements are located under the shapes as well. These are magnifying glass and gray out. So the magnifying glass allows you to magnify some parts of the image. If I want to show that the requisition forms are right here, I can go to the gray out and gray out the rest of the screen leaving the requisition form the only place in the image that is still in focus. Moving on, let's have a look at how we can use Preview to hide sensitive information. Let's imagine that I have this document and I want to hide a person's name right here. I, don't, I want to send this document or I want to share this document and I don't want other people to see the name of a student or a teacher or another sensitive or private information. To do that, we'll go to the markup Go to Shape, I normally select the square, drag it to where you want it to be, customize the size to fit the information you want to hide. For the stroke, right here, I normally select Transparent, and then when it comes to Fill, I normally go to Show. I mean, here we can just select White, and that'll be cool, and it will look nice. Here is another example. This is the screenshot from our school website, but let's imagine that um, I want to hide this information right here. Again, let's go to the markup tool, select the, uh, let's select this shape this time, move it to where we want it to be, and right here it's not that easy, as in the previous example, to select the color. So if I use this color, it looks kind of ugly, but if I go to show colors and use the eyedropper and select the color, see how I can use the eyedropper to select the color? So I, I will select the color that is adjusted to my area and boom, it now looks nice and sleek and the sensitive information is now gone. Sometimes you have an image and uh, you wish you could remove the background, so just white so you can put it in your presentation or use it elsewhere. So let's have a look at this example. Again, going to the markup tools, but this time we'll use the instant alpha. Click and hold on the image, on the background. Click and drag. You will see that the, the background will start turning red. These are the parts of the image that will be deleted up until maybe here. I will release and then click delete key on my keyboard. Boom. I'll convert that. And now the background is gone, but I still have a little bit of background here. So I will again click and drag until this shadow turns red. See, it's now selected and I'll click delete. Finally, let's have a look at how we can use Preview to fill out electronic documents and leave our signatures. So I have a form here that I want to fill out. As you can see, once Preview identifies that, oh, it's a form and it has some fields to fill out, you'll be given an option to turn on the filling of the form right here. I can now fill 
the form out. If we scroll down, we'll see the signature. How do we go about signing the form using Preview? Now to do that, we'll go to the markup tool one more time. And right here, this is the last thing we haven't looked at yet, the sign feature. Let's go to sign and create signature. Preview enables you to create uh, your digital signature um, through multiple means. The first one is using the trackpad. If you click here to begin, and now just use your finger to um, write on the trackpad, this will create signature that we can use in this form. If I click done, and I can put it where I want to in the image. Another way to create the signature, which I personally like, is going to the camera. Uh, camera enables you to use your actual signature and import it, hello, into the preview. To do that, simply take a white piece of paper, take a pen and write your signature on the paper, like this. Move your signature as close to the camera as possible so it aligns with the blue line, like this. And now I have my signature saved in preview. I can click done, go to the signature selector, and I have another signature. Today we've looked at preview. You now know how to use this app to annotate or hide sensitive information in the image, how to remove backgrounds, or how to fill out uh, documents and put your electronic signature. Next week on Tech Tuesday, we'll have a look at how uh, to schedule an email to be sent at a specific time. A very useful feature if you are compiling an email late at night, but you only want this email to be uh, seen by the recipient during their working hours the next day. Thank you for tuning in for this edition of the Tech Tuesday. And as always, have a good day and we'll see you next time.